Hi, my name is Omar. I am the chemistry teacher at Dulwich International High School, Suzhou, and welcome to my classroom. There are two ways to answer that question. Number one is why do I like to talk about chemistry? And number two is why students should study chemistry. Now, the reason why I like to learn and talk about chemistry is because it's all around us. You look at simple things like this desk or the fluorescent lights around us or our sun. It's all part of the chemistry. One thing that I love is that things that make us, the atoms that make us, were literally made when a star died. Now that is a profound thing, if you can understand what that means. So Carl Sagan said, you are made of star stuff, and that is actually true. And how does that work? Well, you gotta learn chemistry to know that. So we start off small. We start off with knowing about atoms, knowing about molecules, and then we slowly go into experimental chemistry and application chemistry. The stuff like uh, stuff like how to make ammonia and how industrial chemistry work, how synthesis of certain organic molecules work, and basically A levels chemistry gives us a very, very broad base on which you can develop when you go into university. So I'll answer that with an example. Yesterday I was having a class about chemical energetics, how energy is used and something so simple as in filling your, uh, your car up with gas is you overlook it but you do not understand that it's like that gas that each molecule of gasoline holds enough energy that you can run your car and also how the energy that is in that molecule has been around since the big bang basically matter Matter actually matters. Now, what is chemistry all about? It's everything that surrounds us. How do things interact? Now, physics tells us how the universe came into existence and what the four fundamental forces are. But chemistry links physics into biology. Now, us, existence, life. It's like if there was no chemistry, there was no bi uh, there would be no biology, no biology, you wouldn't be here. My name is Patty and I study chemistry from year 10 to now and I'm now in year 13. What I enjoy the most in the chemistry lesson is when I do practicals. It's a brilliant way for me to um, to understand the concept after I actually see how the reaction is undergoing and get to know the changes. It really helps me to visualize the theory and allows me to think of the micro effect of the subatomic world which brings the chemical phenomenon into a new light. Um, because chemistry is all around us, which is a very powerful subject and intercorrelates with a lot of other fields and have the harmonic connections between the law of physics and the mystery world of the biology and life. So um, there are lots of parts of biology courses that wouldn't make sense if you don't apply the chemistry knowledge into it. So if you would like to like, study science in the future, you should choose chemistries. And do not think that the chemistry will become extremely difficult later on. You can nail it if you learn it step by step. 做实验是我在化学学习过程中最喜欢的一个环节，因为在我看到一些实验现场和知道它的操作以后，嗯，我可以更好去理解和记忆这些知识点。同时，通过这种真实的实验操作。
，嗯、呃，它让我在化学层面上思考了不同的宏观效应，并且让化学学习有了更多的可能。呃、嗯，因为化学是一门很强大的学科，跟很多别的领域都有一些密切的关系，比如说和一些物理定律和生物知识，所以呃，有些生物课程学习的内容会需要用到一些化学定律去解决。如果你以后想从事有关科学方面的专业，呃，学习化学可以帮助你很多。同时，你不要。担心后面的化学学习会变得很难，只要你搞清楚每一个化学的知识点，化学学习会变得很简单。